Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I'm very pleased to welcome you to the Global Space Applications Conference, GIAC 2018. It is the first time that one of our IEF Global Conferences has come to South America, to Uruguay, and we are really delighted to welcome you all here in Montevideo. During the next three days, our exceptional speakers will discuss the newest development of space applications and the use of these innovations in contributing to socio-economic growth and protection of our planet. Joining us today for the opening ceremony of this conference are five very prominent personalities who will address you on various topics officially opening this GAC 2018 conference. And without further ado, it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce the Minister of Defense of Uruguay, His Excellency Mr. Joaquin Menendez, to give his welcome speech. Señor Presidente de la Federación Internacional de Astronáutica, Señor Director Ejecutivo de la IAF, Señores Representantes de Instituciones Oficiales del Exterior, y expertos internacionales que muchos nos honran con su visita, señor comandante en jefe de la Fuerza Aérea Uruguaya, señor, señor director de la Dirección de Aviación Civil y de Infraestructura Aeronáutica, señora directora del Centro de Investigación y Difusión Aeronáutico Espacial, organizador de este evento y a quien nos adelantamos a agradecer su esfuerzo, señores representantes y autoridades de organismos nacionales, integrantes de la comunidad académica y científica, señores representantes del ámbito empresarial, señoras y señores. President of the International Astronautic Federation, IAF, Direct Executive Director of IAF, representatives of official institutions coming from abroad and international experts, we feel very honored with your visit. Commander of uh, the uh, Uruguayan Forces, uh, the National Director of Civil Aviation and Aeronautic Infrastructure, the Director of the uh, Center for, Internet, for Research and uh, Aeronautic uh, Dissemination, CDE, co-organizer of this event and whom we want to thank uh, for her effort, representatives and authorities of national agencies, members of the academic uh, and scientific community, representatives uh, of the uh, business center, ladies and gentlemen. En nombre del Ministerio de Defensa Nacional es un gran honor dar la bienvenida a tan distinguidos visitantes que participarán de esta importante conferencia global sobre aplicaciones espaciales CLAC 2018, organizada conjuntamente por la Federación Internacional de Astronáutica y nuestro Centro de Investigación y Difusión Aeronáutico Espacial. In the name of the National Ministry of Defense, it's a great honor to welcome some distinguished visitors that will participate in this very important global conference on spatial applications, GLAC 2018, organized jointly by the International Astronautic Federation, IAF, and uh, our cent Center for uh, Aeronautic and Spatial Research and uh, Division, cida -E. Previamente, permítame que en forma muy breve les brinde un rápido panorama institucional respecto a la participación del Ministerio de Defensa del Uruguay en los temas aeronáuticos y espaciales, y en particular en cuanto a la difusión e investigación en dicha área, que de alguna forma justifica mi presencia hoy en este prestigioso evento académico. Let me start by describing very briefly um, the institutional landscape uh, and that uh, justifies the participation of the Ministry of Defense of Uruguay in uh, the aeronautic and spatial issues. And in particular, let me explain uh, the, uh, uh, or the importance of the uh, diffusion and investigation in this area, justifying my presence uh, here with you in this very prestigious academic event. In that sentido, debemos establecer que SIDA y es un organismo oficial de Uruguay, dependiente de la Dirección General de Aviación Civil, 
que a su vez depende del Ministerio de Defensa Nacional. La misión de dicho centro de investigación es estudiar y promover el estudio de los temas aeronáuticos y espaciales, así como difundir los resultados de sus investigaciones, ayudando de esta manera a crear una conciencia pública sobre la importancia de esta materia. Asimismo, también cumple un importante rol en cuanto a asesorar y colaborar con la Fuerza Aérea Nacional y la Dirección Nacional de Aviación Civil e Infraestructura Aeronáutica. In that regard, we must establish that CIDAE is an official agency dependent uh, on uh, the General Directorate of Civil Aviation, DINASIA, that depends on uh, the Ministry of Defense. The mission of the center is uh, to conduct uh, research, to study and promote uh, the study of uh, aeronautic and uh, spatial topics, as well as to disseminate the results of the research thus contributing to create public awareness on the importance of these matters. Likewise, it is, uh, it, they play an important role uh, providing advice and collaborating with the Uruguayan Air Force and uh, DINASIA, the, uh, National, uh, the General Directorate uh, for Civil <coughs> Aviation. Ingresando al tema que hoy nos convoca, debemos decir que el objeto de estudio propuesto para esta conferencia es el de las aplicaciones espaciales. Se trata de una cuestión de enorme importancia tomando en cuenta el hecho de que uno de los sectores de mayor actividad en nuestro país es el dedicado a la ganadería y agricultura, para el que existen diversas aplicaciones especiales que son utilizadas en estas áreas productivas y que pueden prestar servicios de gran utilidad para nosotros. So, starting with the topics that uh, is gathering us all today, we must say that uh, the uh, um, subject of study proposed for this conference is that of spatial applications. It is an issue that is of utmost importance for a country, considering that it is uh, that one of the sectors that is most active in our country is precisely devoted to agriculture and uh, uh, livestock. And uh, there are a lot of uh, special applications. Uh, there's a whole range of applications that are used in these uh, production areas and uh, that uh, can give services that are of great usefulness. El tema de aplicaciones especiales, como ustedes saben, refiere a todos aquellos datos e informaciones brindadas por satélites de teleobservación en tierra, meteorológico, GPS etcétera, cuya información permite luego administrar los recursos humanos y fundamentalmente materiales de mejor manera. Esta información puede ayudar tanto a empresas privadas como a los gobiernos, como el nuestro, en la toma de decisiones. Los datos satelitales son una herramienta que permite, por ejemplo, la agricultura de precisión. Una imagen también puede usar data por agricultores para aumentar su cosecha. The uh, topic of uh, spatial applications, as you very well know, refers to uh, those, all of those, uh, the data uh, provided by satellite observation of uh, the Earth, weather satellites, GPS, uh, to name just a few, whose information allows us to uh, manage human and material resources in the best manner possible. This information may be of great help both to private companies as well as governments in their decision-making processes. The satellite data are a tool that enables, uh, for instance, farmers to uh, conduct uh, precision farming. Um, an image that can also be used by a farmer to increase the yield of uh, the crops. Uruguay no es un país con un gran desarrollo en el área espacial pero ello no priva de la importancia de estos asuntos en la medida que muchas instituciones públicas y privadas hoy presentes en este gran evento utilizan cotidianamente información y datos brindados por satélites que los ayudan a realizar sus actividades diarias. Uruguay is not a country with a great uh, spatial uh, uh, development, however, That this doesn't mean that we don't consider it of a high importance to the extent that many agencies, both public and private, uh, are present today in this wonderful event and use uh, 
uh, spatial information on an everyday basis and as well as uh, data provided by satellites that uh, help them conduct their daily activities. El sector agropecuario se ve muchas veces afectado por condiciones extremas de clima, como las intensas lluvias, tornados, fuertes vientos, tormentas, heladas, sequías e inundaciones. Esto hace absolutamente necesario que las empresas agropecuarias y otros actores públicos y privados deban incorporar nueva tecnología que les permita un mejor manejo y reducción de riesgos. The agricultural sector is uh, very often uh, suffers uh, because of extreme weather conditions, including heavy rains, tornadoes, strong winds, uh, storms, uh, uh, droughts, uh, floods, uh, hailing, and. Uh, as a consequence, it is absolutely necessary for farming companies and to the different public and public players, players to incorporate the new technologies that may enable them a better management and risk reduction. Tenemos la plena seguridad de que estas jornadas serán muy exitosas y aguardamos con mucha expectativa sus resultados, los que serán sin duda un gran aporte para el conocimiento de estos temas de enorme relevancia que en definitiva nos ayudará para seguir impulsando el desarrollo de nuestro país y de la comunidad. We are absolutely sure that these days to come will be very fruitful and successful and we have high expectations as to the outcomes which will undoubtedly be a great contribution for the knowledge of these topics that are so relevant for us and that in the end will help us in uh, our effort uh, to uh, develop our country and to the international community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Menendez, for being here with us this afternoon and for your inspiring words. Um, let me also acknowledge the presence of other prominent Uruguayan representatives in the audience, uh, the Commander-in-Chief of the Uruguayan Air Force, General Delere Alberto Sanelli, is with us and the National Director of Civil Aviation and Infrastructure, Brigadier General Antonio Alarcón, Alarcón as well. And we are also very happy to welcome here the Ambassador of the Russian Federation to Uruguay, His Excellency Mr. Nikolai Sofinsky. Now, with this, uh, we would move on to our next speaker to represent the International Astronautical Federation. I have the pleasure to introduce the IEF President, Dr. Johnny Flegal, for his welcome. Your Excellency, uh, Minister of Defence, esteemed colleagues and uh, dear friends, uh, I would like uh, first to start by uh, thanking uh, His Excellency, uh, Minister of Defence, for uh, honouring us uh, with his presence at the opening ceremony of this very important uh, international space gathering. Mr. Minister, your presence here today is a testament of the high importance the leadership of Uruguay attaches to space applications and international cooperation in this field, as uh, you uh, remind us in your statement. I would like also uh, to give a special appreciation to Marta Gagero, Chief Counsel of the Centro de Investigación y Diffusión Aeronautico Spatial, CIDAI, for offering us the opportunity to meet today and for providing this platform to strengthen the international relationships that will be critical to meeting the challenges that lie ahead to leverage space applications for socio-economic growth. On behalf of the International Astronautical Federation, it is a great pleasure for me to extend to all of you a warm welcome to the IAF Global Space Application Conference 2018. Since uh, its uh, inception in uh, 1951, IAF has pursued its main goal of connecting all space people and providing a platform for organizations, communities and individuals that are active and enthusiastic about space to meet share knowledge and experience, and to connect with each other on neutral grounds in spirit of cooperation. Today, our federation is the world's leading space advocacy body, with 343 corporate members on six continents in 68 countries. 
When I was elected the president of uh, IIF in 2015 in Jerusalem, I felt the need to set concrete long-term goals for our federation to guarantee its sustainable development and make it fit for purpose to face the global challenges that lie ahead. To this end, I established the IIF Global Innovation Agenda 2016-2019 based on the principles of preserving our heritage and building on existing strengths, listening and opening up to the world, preparing the future and most importantly, connecting all space people. To implement this agenda, a major focus has been and will be given to key elements such as reaching out to emerging and developing countries and fostering the principles of rigid diversity, standing for geography, generation and gender. The Federation is constantly working to increase the participation of new space countries in IAF activities, provide the knowledge and expert support to emerging space nations and finally produce concrete benefits for these regions. With this end in mind, I kindly invite you to connect with us and get involved in the IIF Fiji movement. IIF, in fact, operates thanks to a wide network of volunteers from all over the world helping to shape its manifold activities. First and foremost, our annual International Astronomical Congress, ISC. ISC is the one time of the year when all space players come together. Global multidisciplinary and covering all space sectors and topics, these events brings any, everyone the latest space information and developments and above all contacts and potential partnerships. Each year, ISC changes country, team and local organizer, enabling all to learn more about and be a part of the world space scene. This year, ISC 2018 will be hosted by Bremen in Germany, the city of space, where I warmly encourage you to join us as the theme is, this year, is involving everyone. In addition to ISCs, since 2010, IAF has been organizing a series of global conferences, starting with the Global Lunar Conference in Beijing, in China, that same year. This year, we will be returning our attention to the importance of the space applications after the first successful conference in Paris in 2014. Space applications for Earth, observation, telecoms and global navigation can play a vital role in supporting disaster risk reduction and recovery efforts by providing accurate and timely information for decision makers. GLAC 2018, here in Montevideo, will offer us all the opportunity to share programmatic, technical and policy information as well as collaborative solutions, challenges, lessons learned and paths forward among all nations with the desire to improve space applications and promote their usage. An outstanding program has been put together for this conference under the able leadership of our GLAC 2018 International Program Committee Coaches Roberta Mugelisi Dao, Interactive Applications Manager at the European Space Agency and Chair of the IIF Committee of Interactive Applications, and Victoria Alonso Perez, Digital Innovation Lead at Airbus Defense and Space, and who is also my special advisor in the IIF Bureau on Next Generation Topics. A very special thank you goes to them for their dedicated work and a big thank you also to all the programs of the International Forum Committee. It is extremely fitting that we are meeting here in Montevideo. GLAC 2018 is strategically located in Uruguay. The country whose main industry is farming and agriculture. Therefore, space applications can help Uruguay and the countries of this region enormously. Conferences like this support global cooperation, great things can be achieved when we all work together, not individually at fragmented groups, but as a global community sharing common goals of progress and discovery. This is a message we need to share with the younger generation, a message that is now more important than ever before. Because learning to live and work together in space will improve our ability to live and work together with to conclude, 
I would like to thank the organizers for their outstanding efforts, our Hungarian friends for their great cooperation and hospitality, all our speakers for their important contributions to making this conference a great success, and all of you for joining us here for this event. I see that the room is almost full, and I hope that the GLAG 2018 will truly be fruitful and memorable for everyone. I want to thank you once again for coming. I want to thank you for your attention. And I would like to invite you now to watch a short video with some impressions of the IAF activities and events. Thank you. Presented this afternoon also by Ms. Amalia Alvarez, Director of Promotion of Agricultural Information Systems at the Ministry of Livestock, Agriculture and Fisheries. Ms. Alvarez, you have the floor. The Defensa for for accompanying us on the day of today. The first one for Uruguay is extremely important. The President of the IAF for the excellent organization, the support and sponsor of this event in Uruguay. Para nosotros estos temas son extremadamente importantes. A Marta Gallero por haber organizado y coordinado en Uruguay toda esta actividad y haber convocado al Ministerio en este proceso. Um, first of all, let me uh, greet the authorities and uh, to thank uh, all the authorities present, including the Minister of Defense, the President of IAEF. Um, and uh, uh, Marta Gallero, who at a local level organized and coordinated this activity uh, and uh, inviting uh, our, the Ministry of uh, Livestock, Agriculture and Fisheries. Quisiera disculpar al Ministro Benes, que en este momento no pudo venir porque está en Roma, en una conferencia de FAO, y eh, me pidió particularmente que, que viniera yo en el día de hoy, que, estando un poco más cerca de estos temas en el Ministerio de Ganadería, que son extremadamente importantes para nosotros. Ahora les cuento algún ejemplo. I want to apologize because the minister, uh, Bennett, couldn't uh, come because he's attending uh, an FAO meeting in Rome, but he especially asked me to come as his representatives, as I'm one of the people who is uh, closer to the topics that we are going to discuss today. Uh, the topic that gathers you today is of utmost importance for our ministry, and I'm going to give you some examples of that. Uruguay is a pioneer at the level of development and trazability of their ganado bovino. Through the National Nacional de Information Ganadero, Uruguay developed a mechanism of identification and trazability of bovina that 
con fines sanitarios, nos ha permitido mantener al país fuera del, libre de, de fiebre aftosa, eso nos ha permitido acceder a mercados, casi, eh, casi todo el mundo, nuestro mercado hoy por hoy, y es, ha sido un modelo de referencia, una aplicación espacial sumamente elogiada a nivel mundial, y hoy, hoy por hoy es un modelo referente y algunos países lo ponen como ejemplo, como requisito para la incorporación y, y adquisición ¿no? de, de, de carne bovina. Um, Uruguay es un pionero en el campo de cattle tracing. Um, uh, for our country, that is an important cattle grower, it is absolutely essential to be able to ensure our, our markets. Um, uh, since uh, the occurrence of uh, outbreaks of uh, food and mouth disease, it's been increasingly important for us to be able to ensure all the issues related to animal health. In that respect, uh, our ministry developed the national system for uh, livestock information that provides mandatory cattle traceability for animal health purposes. And it has been thanks to the implementation of that program that Uruguay has become a model uh, globally. Um, and uh, that model has ensured us the access uh, to uh, almost all of the countries in the world uh, for the sale of our beef. Y actualmente estamos, se está trabajando en, en, con dos proyectos muy importantes a nivel de, de aplicaciones espaciales. Uno de ellos es el proyecto de desarrollo y adaptación al cambio climático, en el cual se está trabajando con productores rurales para desarrollar un uso sostenible de los recursos naturales, generando una mayor adaptación a la variabilidad y al cambio climático, y promoviendo una modernización del ministerio en el área de información y servicios relacionados con lo que es clima y recursos naturales. So, um, animal traceability was uh, um, uh, possible thanks to a space application and there are two other projects that also make use of uh, spatial applica space applications, including the project for the development and adaptation to climate change to support uh, farmers uh, develop uh, the sustainable use of the natural resources by creating a, a, or by achieving a greater adaptation to the variability of climate and climate change, promoting the modernization of our ministry in the area of uh, information and services related, related to climate and natural resources um, used by using space applications. Uno de los grandes proyectos involucrados aquí es la mejora en el manejo del uso de los recursos naturales, en particular el suelo, ¿sí? que hasta ahora, hasta hace unos años, se manejaba como un recurso renovable y se vio que no es un recurso renovable y que hay que cuidarlo y desarrollar un programa para, para mejorar la, la, el uso y el manejo de estos suelos. Y adicionalmente, trabajando actualmente en un proyecto para poder poner y hacer control de la aplicación de productos fitosanitarios en, en el en territorio, es importante para el Uruguay mantener la inocuidad y trazabilidad de los alimentos que el Uruguay exporta y para eso es muy importante hacer un control adecuado de la aplicación de productos fitosanitarios. Um, another project is to improve the use of natural resources uh, through uh, the presentation of uh, plans for the use and management of soils. Um, in the past, we used to believe that uh, soils were a renewable resource, but sadly we uh, um, have to admit that it is not a renewable resource, so we have to take good care of it. So we've implemented um, a traceability plant for the control of the application of uh, pesticides and uh, uh, different uh, chemicals used uh, on soil. And uh, um, uh, with the idea of monitoring uh, especially the food produce that we produce so that we can ensure that they can be exported to the rest of the world. Y adicionalmente, estamos trabajando en el monitoreo de variables agroclimáticas que nos permitan predecir o, por lo menos, a, a, a trabajar de forma más proactiva ante siniestros climáticos que puedan afectar al agro trabajando en mejora de las capacidades y promoviendo el, el, el uso de seguros a nivel del agro como mecanismo de mitigación al cambio climático. Um, likewise, we've uh, developed uh, a system for the uh, control of uh, the uh, 
uh, for, for monitoring the uh, annual climate variables, it is important for us to be able to uh, accurately forecast uh, the uh, acts of God, or especially uh, extreme weather um, uh, um, events. And we, in that line, we have also promoted the development of uh, farming insurance. Se estamos trabajando con un proyecto que se llama de proyecto Red de reducción de emisión de la degradación y la deforestación del bosque nativo, trabajando para también de vuelta con, con aplicaciones satelitales y, y de, de manera de poder mejorar nuestra capacidad para de, evitar la degradación del bosque nativo y, y bueno, mejorar la gestión del bosque plantado. Uh, we are also working on a project uh, for the uh, reduction of uh, the emissions uh, due to the deforestation and degradation of uh, the native uh, uh, forests, uh, together with Ministry of the Environment. And uh, we work with satellite applications to avoid the degradation of uh, our natural woods and forests and uh, to um, uh, improve uh, the yields uh, of uh, the artificial uh, uh, forests. Bueno, para, para ir cerrando, principales desafíos que nosotros encontramos para el Ministerio y para el Uruguay en su conjunto, que es un evento de estas características en el Uruguay realmente es sumamente importante, es la consolidación de capacidades en el país que nos permitan un gran aprovechamiento de, este, de estas tecnologías y de los avances extremadamente rápidos que hay en este rubro, eh, poder hacer análisis de grandes volúmenes de datos para poder predecir y generar modelos que nos permitan adelantarnos a determinadas situaciones. So, uh, among the main challenges that our ministry and our country have ahead are, first of all, the consolidation of capacities uh, to enable a greater use of uh, all of the breakthroughs in uh, space applications, and uh, to be able to analyze large volumes of data to identify patterns and uh, to uh, um, be able to uh, predict uh, climate uh, variability. Y bueno, y por último, la promoción y la creación de, de una, o promover un ambiente de una comunidad emprendedora en el Uruguay de forma de poder trabajar a nivel de agrotech y poder desarrollar una comunidad que eh, aproveche las fortalezas que tiene el Uruguay a nivel de agro y poder generar conocimiento y poder exportar ese conocimiento como un elemento más del, del desarrollo del país. Bueno, y con esto quisiera agradecer a los organizadores por haber realizado este evento en Uruguay realmente para nosotros es extremadamente importante y les deseo a todos un, un gran trabajo de aprovechar el networking y poder generar instancias de, de intercambio que les permitan estar al tanto en el futuro con estos temas. And uh, finally, um, our, our country considers that it's very important to promote the creation of a, a community of entrepreneurs in uh, agro-tech uh, uh, topics. Uruguay has very important conditions uh, to become a, a, a very good player in uh, the world. So we thank you for organizing this event here because we are um, very interested in uh, creating knowledge and being able to export knowledge too. So uh, I wish you all here a good, uh, good uh, activity, um, make the most of networking, and I wish you all a great work. Thank you very much, Mr. Weiss, for your very interesting intervention and information you have provided. Let me now welcome our next welcome speaker at this opening, um, Professor Pascal Ehrenfreund, who is the IEF Vice President for Global Conferences. So she is supervising and it falls under her responsibility the organization of conferences of that type within the IEF. But uh, Professor Ehrenfreund is also the chair of the German Aerospace Center DLR. The floor is yours. Your Excellency, Minister Menendez, esteemed colleagues, and dear ladies and gentlemen, as um, IAF Vice President for Communications, Publications, and uh, Global Conferences, I'm pleased also to welcome you to this landmark conference on space application co organized with the Centro de Investigación y Difusión Aeronautico Espacial. Yeah? 
<laughs> CIE, <laughs> uh, which is a member uh, of the IAF since 1985. Um, I'm also delighted to, uh, to welcome uh, you um, uh, uh, at this uh, conference because uh, we uh, would like to engage with all of you in an open and constructive dialogue about the possibilities offered by space applications for socio-economic growth. This includes more effective agriculture and maritime, climate change prevention and protection of natural resources, to name just a few. And we have also heard that this is of very importance in the previ previous welcome remarks. So in the past years, the IF uh, global conferences have demonstrated to be extremely useful by gathering uh, specialists and experts and confronting ideas on specific subjects deemed important by the geographical area where the conference actually takes place. And this is co confirmed against, uh, once again this year here in Uruguay where all of us representatives of space agencies, industry, academia and other stakeholders from all over the world have now convened. <laughs> this is a great opportunity to network, to find uh, collaborations, as well as exchange on all the benefits provided by space applications. Uh, we have heard already some examples this morning, uh, talking to the young professionals. Space applications have advanced rapidly in the recent years. But nevertheless, uh, a number of countries still lack the technical and also financial resources required uh, to conduct even the most basic space-related activities, such as meteorology, communications, and uh, natural resource management. And um, of course, experts are also necessary. So the need to make uh, the benefits of space applications available to all countries has thus grown more urgent, uh, which is each passing year. Space applications are fundamental contributors to stable societies and to the growth of these societies, their economies and the well-being of all our citizens. Advances in the space application technology can and must be employed to approach all the environment and also the environment more consciously. The first global conference is focusing on space application, as uh, Jean-Yves already mentioned, took place in Paris in 2014. And after the success of the event, it was decided to hold a follow-up conference in South America. This is the uh, first time ever that the IAF takes one of its global conferences to South America, and also the first time that it organizes an event in Uruguay. And um, uh, I think it has been mentioned already, we have been all over the world. The IF Global Conference started in 2010 uh, when we held a Global Lunar Conference in Beijing. I'm looking particularly at the peaceful exploration of the moon. And in 2012, we traveled to Washington DC uh, for the first Global Space uh, Exploration Conference, GLEX. And uh, we have been uh, in 2015 for the Global Space Innovation Conference, GLIC, um, in um, uh, Munich, in Germany. And uh, also in 2016, we organized a global conference on space and uh, the information society, GLIS, in Geneva, um, in Switzerland, and in particular to examine and discuss the different means by which space allows people to connect worldwide. Also an important topic here. So the impact that space policies and technologies and space application have on our daily life, of, on people, on organizations and governments, um, communicating and exchanging information around the world is growing. And in 2017, we held uh, the second uh, edition of the Global Space Exploration Conference, GLEX, uh, 2017, to learn about space exploration again in Beijing. And I think we have a little movie, uh, which we will show now about this conference. And we will make a, uh, certainly a movie of this conference. 
and more or less you will see a similar movie which we, uh, we will do here at the conference with all of you and that's something we are going to show very soon. <laughs> of this year, GLAC 2018, will be a catalyst for change and innovation here in Uruguay. And we will get expert answers to questions. We uh, will have a great opportunity to connect with attendees and um, you know, share the different perspectives and views. And most importantly, for those of us coming far away from Uruguay, we will get the chance also to discover this beautiful country. I wish you a wonderful conference and I really look uh, very forward to an interesting debate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much once again, Professor Ian Freund, for your great words and also for your continuous support in helping us to organize these kind of conferences within the IEF. It is now my very distinct pleasure to introduce our last speaker of this opening ceremony. Without her, and without her strong commitment to this event, we would not be here today. Please give a warm welcome to Ms. Marta Gaggero, Chief Counsel of the Centro de Investigación e Difusión Aeronáutico Espacial CIDAE. Ms. Gaggero. National Defense, Dr. Jorge Menendez, Director of Promotion of Agricultural Information Systems of the Ministry of Livestock, Agriculture and Fisheries, MC Amalia Alvarez, President of the IAF and the French Space Agency, Dr. Jenny Bial, <coughs> President of the German Space Agency, Dr. Pascal Ehrenfeld. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is our pleasure to welcome you in to Montevideo. This is the seventh edition of our IAF, the IAF Global Conferences, and is the first time it takes place in Latin America. It is certainly an important fact for the region in general and for Uruguay in particular. The holding of this conference in Montevideo is the result of a joint collaborative effort between the IAF and CIDAE, member of the Federation since 1995. We hope this event will become a fruitful one. Let's say firstly that Uruguay, even though it is not a space-faring country, science and technology have had important developments in other areas of activity. Scientific researches are carried out by several public and private organizations. In 1975, the CIDAE was founded and became an advisory department of the National Civil Aviation Authority, (NASIA). 
Its main functions, among others, are to study, to research, give advice on aeronautics and space issues, and organize national and international events related to space matters. In 1996, the CIDARE, together with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, organized the third space conference of the Americas. These conferences, as you know, are a forum for institutional cooperation. Recently, in 2017, CIDARE joined the Latin American and the Caribbean Space Network, which was created under the impulse of the European Center for Space Law of ESA. The network bring to, brings together all the universities, institutions, and individuals that are interested in the research and the promotion of space technology, space policy, and space law. The network was created in Buenos Aires in March 2017. Next Friday, the 25th, we will hold another meeting in the School of Law of our National State University. We considered that it was opportunely opportune to hold this meeting on that day since LAC 2018 was going to take place in Montevideo. It goes without saying that all of you are invited to join us next Friday. In relation to LAC 2018 and considering these previous events, when the IAF Board of Directors accepted our proposal to be the venue, we thought that the motto of our conference should be space applications. Taking into account the importance of space technology in many activity areas, we decided that the theme should be space applications for livestock and agriculture, or at of utmost importance for our country. Why? Because we must take into consideration that Uruguay is a small country. The 95% of its territory is suitable for farming and agriculture. These two sectors represent the majority of our exports. Space technology applications used by various government and private agencies are of fundamental importance, both to prevent risks that can threaten agricultural production and to preserve natural resources. In view of these factors, we designed with the IIF a program in which the topics are related to space applications that would be of interest for these activity sectors. The program will be covered with in six keynotes and plenary sessions. To address these issues, we will count with the attendance of distinguished representatives representatives of the most important space agencies and organizations, as well as national experts. This morning, under the coordination of Victoria Alonso Pérez, young South American students and professionals participated in a seminar organized by CGAC and the IAF. They had also the opportunity to interact with relevant speakers and therefore exchange their knowledge and expertise. LAC 2018, as a follow-up of LAC 2014 held in Paris, gives us another chance to analyze the progress and future of space technology. Finally, allow me to add that surely many of you do not know our country and we hope you will be able to visit Montevideo and other nearby places. We then wish you a pleasant stay in our country. Thank you very much to all of you for coming and our sincere recognition to IAF for their collaboration and organization of this event. Enjoy your stay. And now I invite to watch a short video about our country.
you very much, Ms. Kagiewo, for your very interesting speech and for sharing these imp great impressions from Europe with us. Um, I would like to uh, thank all the speakers at our opening ceremony and I would like to invite you to give another round of applause to all of our fantastic speakers. Thank you.